united. You get it? Mankind united, Muslim. Yes. Just work it out. You? Okay. <laughs> All right. Listen, yeah. I, I want to pick your brain. I've spoken to Mulan Abdul Khalik Ali uh, earlier on about uh, you know Iftar with the president. Uh, but yes. but but for you, right? What what, yeah. what did it mean besides that you were like all dressed up in Hakit and I noticed that what what did what did what, what did it mean being there? What, what did you take out of it? Look for me, um the president has reached corners where others don't usually go to. He's quite an inclusive president, you know. So look, it was close to Power MJC and the um ANC regional branch and obviously we can't deny the fact that the few months, there's a few months to go to a, a local government election. So there's that. But I think when the president spoke, it was sincere, and, and I was quite impressed by what he had to say regarding the Muslim community, you know, and the depth of understanding of the role the Muslim community, especially here in the Western Cape, mm -hmm. where the UDF played in the struggle for our freedom. And um, what, did, what did he say that? That you didn't know, because I mean, what I'm saying, if he's going to say, you know, if he's going to say from from the time of Sheikh Yusuf to to rattling off a whole lot of names, uh, yeah. and, I, and I'm guessing, you know, he, he would mention a person like Dalla Omar, absolutely, and go on and on, right? Uh, I think that that's yeah. a given. I mean, any any good communication yeah. strategist, and you know that you are, would do that, right? What what did he say that that stood out for you? That was profound. Look, what 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 is it to, um, to me? What I took away from it was that. Um, I didn't, for example, know that the Palestinian embassy in South Africa is paid for by the South African government, you know? Um, he didn't say that, mm -hmm. but somebody at the table who's a very close uh, aide to the president advised me of this. So nothing he said really uh, was new to me because, we, you know, we live the life, you know? We live uh, as Muslims, and the, I know the history of Sheikh Yusuf, and all of that. But what he did do was pay tribute to people like um, Imam Harun Abdullah mm -hmm. and his uh, very revered um, um, uh, figure who was murdered by the uh, security police. He also paid tribute to Ahmad Kimal, but also people that are current in the community who were at the, um, at the, the event, people like uh, Judge Siraj Desai, mm -hmm. who reminded the president about legislation that will affect um, uh, inheritance and, and women in, in Islam who are currently not protected. Our, our marriages are still not considered as legal, legally binding, our, our Muslim marriages. And the president announced um, yesterday that he's got the green paper, they're working on it, and as soon as it arrives on his desk, he's signing it. Mm -hmm. um, but what, what I liked about what he was saying was my takeaway from it was the president said that he wished he could replicate the spirit of Ramadan of charity, solidarity, and unity and peace and share that with the whole of our society. For me, that was a powerful endorsement of our faith and the special month, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, the president's willingness to make namaz, you know, with, with the rest of us. I know, look, uh, the theorists will say, um, did he take Udu, <laughs> all of that, that yeah. didn't know what he was doing. But it's a gesture, you know, it's an important gesture that we, are, uh, our, our faith uh, in this country, we've never been more free to practice. Yeah. Exactly I like think I think that's that's a particularly important point. We can we can debate about that. Of course, we know he's not Muslim unless he's, he's changed yeah. overnight. Uh, and and I've certainly seen him at at synagogues and I've seen him at at, at Hindu mandir. So let's not suggest that he only does it for Muslims. He does it across the yeah. board. But the reality, yeah. and you know, we've chatted about the Uyghur Muslims from China a few days ago yeah. about how they cannot practice their faith. So yeah, coming there and actually bowing down with you in sajda, you can debate. The, the personal expression, but but publicly it says, I see you, I hear you, I identify you. I mean, for me, th that's a powerful symbol, isn't it? Yeah. So you remember, Ashraf, a few weeks ago, there was a devastating fire in Cape Town. Yeah. That, uh, mm -hmm. You see buildings were damaged and roads and memorials, restaurants exploded. So the president actually made reference to the Kramat that are located in and around Table Mountain mm -hmm. and that none of them were damaged and that the Kramat are actually protecting the city 
I mean, this comes from our president, you know, the kind yeah, of local yeah. knowledge about um, uh, about our history and our legacy, you know. And he also, he was, as I mentioned earlier on, a uh, manual for example, with the four and With his kofi, I saw, I saw your pictures, yeah. With his, <laughs> with his stairs, yeah. <laughs> um, and um, I made the joke yesterday that because we all really masked um, maybe people won't recognize our faces, but they'll recognize our feathers. Yeah. But it was also just an amazing opportunity to connect with people who we haven't seen in two years. I mean, I got my former colleague Aisha Ismail there, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, best selling author Yusuf Daniels, who wrote the book Living Color. I read both. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, they, they, they were, there was an incredible eclectic mix of people. Um, Tali Peterson's children were invited. Um, and as you know, they, they're big uh, in the entertainment world and actors and performers. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And so there was a big cross-section of Muslim, of the Muslim community there, and I think nice to see. Yeah, I mean, some yeah, of the names besi- besides I saw, I mean, uh, Claire, I saw Siraj Desai, and I, and I had him on air just a few weeks ago. I saw Fairuz Muhammad from Sanzaf, obviously MTR Suleiman, uh, Yazid Kamaldin, uh, and I can go on. Right? But, but here's, here's, here's the bigger issue then, right? Um, you know, you, you made the point about the things he said. How, how much of, of this is merely an expression of, of the type of lobbying that takes place behind the scenes and it's a public show of, of the type of lobbying? Because I can't see actual lobbying taking place in public there and there. That means if it is, the president knows that already. If if if, if, if the imam, um, uh, Abdul Khalik Ali, is going to talk, uh, the president has probably heard him already. Yeah, it's the president of the MJC, as well as the constituent head of the, the MP for that for that for the Afghan community, mm-hmm. Faiz Jacob. Yeah, actually, was an ANC member. Had a tough question to the president about corruption. When are we going to see real delivery to our people? When are we going to see the end of corruption? We've seen the start that he's trying, but we need more. So. In that respect, I mean, it, it gave me a lot of confidence in the MJC that they're asking the right questions to the president. It's not just, oh, here's our unequivocal yeah. um, endorsement, which they've done for people like Jacob Zuma in the past, which I've been very critical of, you know? Yeah. Here's, here's the last thing. Strategical. Absolutely. Because I'm just, I mean, I've already asked Abdul Khalid Ali in terms of where the invitation came from, so I understand. I got that. But, but here's the question. He spoke as as the as the president of the country, but he's also the president of the African National Congress, right? Yeah. So symbolically, if other political parties, and I'm talking specifically the DA uh, and um, and the EFF, and of course Patricia De Lille's party, someone that I know you've spoken about, I mean she's written your forward, right? If if they yeah. did the same thing and said we want to have an iftar chat with the with the Muslim community, what should be the Muslim community response? Say the Western Cape, what should be your response? I think my response was. I went to a dinner at the invitation of the president of South Africa. I, I, I didn't go to listen to the president of the ANC. And I think that's an important distinction because the draw for me is um, I've been particularly, yes, he's made mistakes, but I've been particularly impressed with how the president has managed to handle a very, very difficult uh, presidency with COVID-19, you know? We can criticize what he's done, businesses have lost out, but he's actually, if you look at it in the cold light of day, there's been life-saving happening here. People's lives have been saved. So that's mm. what drew me to the event. Okay. I'm, yeah. an, I'm an admirer of our president. I think he's one of the better presidents we've had, uh, uh, bar for Madiba, you know? And um, I think if another political party had an iftar, I wouldn't be as drawn to it. And quite frankly, it's like, you know, um, there's a few people like Mufti Mink, if you were to come to Cape Town mm-hmm. and have a, 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 a English khutbah at uh, Islamia Mosque, I would attend it because, you know, he's a, he, like, he's, he's inspirational. Absolutely, got, got the point. It's not, yeah. It's not fire and brimstone. I'm learning something about the Nabi Khatif. Okay. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna and let it I'm gonna let it go at that. Uh, I think Mufti Mank, by the way, is reciting at, at the at the Bosman Mosque tonight. Uh, maybe enough. maybe Jumaso, just so that you know that. Because I'm gonna leave Asking it at that. Yeah. Into well, you know, he goes all over, he's a citizen of the whole world, and you know that, inshallah. Uh <laughs> Hassan, listen, great chatting to you. Thanks for your insights. Most appreciated. You may okay. want to tune in uh, after 9 30. Uh, we'll be chatting to uh Tasneem Fredericks, the deputy president of uh, of the BMF Black Management Forum. Very important organization and he is a muslim from the from Qabeha, in fact who is a major player in that organization some thanks for your time talking about one leader to another we'll chat to andile kumalo uh, around uh, you know gauging the be where are we with that in a moment our efforts continue all through the blessed month of Ramadan. So our aim is to, inshallah, literally save a few lives in whichever little way. Thanks to your support, we have provided thousands of people with staple and nutritious food pack supplies, access to fresh and clean 